Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's John. If you haven't been here before, thank you for coming by. Thank you for returning. We really do appreciate it. Today, we are leaving Sarasota Bay. We're going to go out and try to catch some American Red Snapper, hopefully a gag grouper, since we only have a two-week season this year. Today with me, I have my buddy Matt. His father, Al, flew down from Connecticut, and we also have Matt's son, Xander, with us. Coming along for the ride is my buddy Matt and his wife, Sean. The ride out of the bay was very nice. We were treated to a beautiful sunrise. It was fairly calm until we headed out into the Gulf. It wasn't too bad while we were catching bait, but as we got further offshore, with the wind coming out of the south, it made for a very choppy and wet ride. After we got the bait that we needed, we headed offshore. Usually we wouldn't come out on a day that was this choppy, but Big Al was in town. And we didn't want to disappoint him. And Matt's son, Xander, was really looking forward to going out. He's been watching some of the videos, and he's been super excited to do some deep sea fishing. So come along for the ride, and we'll see you when we get out there. Oh, Penny Pin. That might be a record. Look at this blue runner. You can use my bot. You're taking more of those? Yeah. John, I have a blue runner. Ow. Yeah. Keep doing that. <laughs> Look at that dot. Look at that dot. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, build up. That's probably a blue. Maybe you need to put a new one on yours. She handed me the rod and started shaking. <laughs> what? Hello. Hello. Then come back with fishing up. Slap her. Put the other on. Cut the other one. 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 Oh, yeah, one. Yeah, one. Oh, yeah. Whoa, that's something big, huh? That's so that's all, that's all this kidneys right here. It's good. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, look at that blast. Oh, it's got a funny one. Look at that. Look at that blue runner. Yeah. Good job. I can't, I can't lift up this rock. Look at that massive blue. That's a good that's a nice one for sure. Yeah. That thing can fight hard. Yeah. It actually uh took me down deep. Bring it up. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she, 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 she turned around and posing for oh. a picture and something. Yeah. Don't eat your circle, circle hooks, because they're real. If you felt the bite at all, you got no bait, because they don't stand there very long. These frozen baits. You just hit bond now. Oh, you just hit bond? Okay. Oh, no, 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 a minute ago. No, go back to Manx. Tell your, uh, tell your bait what to catch. You didn't talk to your bait first? They'll take the bait that fast? Usually as soon as you hit the bottom. Or, you know, within 30 seconds. Thanks. Yep. Whatever you do, don't send me a video. Yeah, iPhone to Android sucks. Yeah, the iPhone has to change the format. 
I got eight off the bottom. Small snapper or something. Spot tail grunt. <laughs> Did you need some? I think I know where there's some at. 50 or 60 pounds? Um, yeah. Bunch of flying fish back there. A little flat line out. See if we can somebody yeah you'll you'll know and hold on pull, pull that back up okay you're good yeah Feels like 10 when you have to reel yeah. it back up on that crappy pole, though. But it's he's coming at you. Big. I think that's a mahi mahi right there. Could be mahi. Could be tuna. That's our bait. Could be bonito. Bonito. A bonita. Ooh, that was on the top water? Top water. Oh, nice. I don't know what that sound is. <laughs> That's the sound of a reel. That's going the sound right of now. grab the rod. You don't do it um, you like this. You have to, like, you do it um, like you a reel. You may have to go for it. Look up, man. Go high. Go high, yep. All the way around. Yep. Hey, it's, it's, yeah, it's a big mahi. Oh, oh there it is. Look at that. Oh, sorry. What is it? What is mahi. it? Big mahi. Yes. Mahi? Look at that, Danny. In the boat. In the boat. In oh, the boat. look at that. In the boat. Okay, that's that is a little look at female. That. That's look at a female that. mahi. Nice. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, he gonna make that's it. That's a little female mahi. Mahi mahi. Uh, Hey, actually, there's no size limit on those. No limit on nothing. Open your belt. Open. All right, so that. Hey, get your picture. <laughs> <laughs> right up in the sun up there. Let's uh, in, in the sun up the front. Sports throwing fish at John. <laughs> yeah, don't don't lose it. <laughs> I don't have a damn good grip on them. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. Let's uh get a story going. We have some good And I just ah! where both of them are going. Don't lose it. Oh, it's 
You got a nice. 16 inch red grouper. It's <laughs> <laughs> still fighting. It could be snapper. Could be snapperish. Oh, it's right there. Ooh, the size of that thing. Big one. Oh, let him, yeah, let him puke all that shit out. Let him puke in here. Well. What is that? Is that red Red grouper, yeah. Oh, man, we're over. Should be. Whole lot of can't eat that, but they should be. Should be some snapper down there. Hey, eat. Oh, but eat. Yeah, they're. They're pretty decent to eat. But out of season. Out of season. Yeah, deep fried little grouper nuggets. Let's get your phone. I'm gonna have to put them on the descender. Yeah. Return to Senda. I had a bad feeling that was going to happen. We need a green one. Five. Yeah, we're not that deep. Yeah. Different rod. No. Same one. Uh, you did something to it. It's way easier. Put some lube on it? No. Get that hot tui? <laughs> hot tui. Alright. Go down and get me something good. As you guys can see, this is not ideal conditions. In the camera, it doesn't look very wavy, but all day was three to four foot rollers. Lots of chop and lots of wind. Very challenging day overall. All right, what are we going to catch, Xander? I'm going to give me a rest now. Buddy, give me a tarpon. There ain't no tarpon out here. Yeah, there is. <laughs> no, sir. No way. Actually, oh, bite, bite, bite. No, it's not a bite. It's just going down. You didn't bite. No, it's just going down. It's not on the bottom yet. We actually saw a pod of tarpon rolling like 20 miles off shore once. Really? Yeah. 20. See? I told you something's down there. It could be. <laughs> Looks like there is. Hopefully. Yeah, see? No, nah, it's just the weight. It's a big weight on there. Oh, are you sure? Yep, I know. There's definitely some hard bottom or something down there. Wait. I think I know what I can to catch. What? Yeah, I need down there? No sheep's head. Uh, Do I need flounder? Uh, we've flounder? caught flounder this deep before. Nothing real big. Uh, Wahoo? Uh, Wahoo you gotta typically troll for, or, or you can catch them on that flat line there. So we gotta put that back out. And I think he, yeah, but... No, it's just the weight. Got nibbled on. See? You were right. Imagine you had something. I'm looking at the screen. I'm not looking at you. <laughs> hey, why did you grab me? I didn't even touch you. I think it's finally The boat coming right at us. Yeah, get the right control now. Give him a try. I'm going to sleep most of the day. How long did I sleep? 20 minutes. Really? Maybe not even. Yeah, you might as well buy them all the beer. Yeah, I think we gotta go back to dead.
I got bait. No, I got bait. No. Starting to. Starting to look good. Oh, I got a lane in here too. Um, open that fish box here, man. So these are American red snapper. We want. You want to make sure that weight is on the bottom, man. Is that boat coming right at us? Yeah, we got a boat coming our way on a collision course. Get ready to bat down the hatches. Oh, no. He's he paying attention. Yeah, they they're eating the the dead bait. I think he just realized. Oh, it's a mess. That's why I need to shorten the leader. You don't like it. Very disrespectful, Xander, for him to do that. Is there a rule of thumb for passing a fishing boat? Yeah. Oh, there's a bite on the back. Bite on the back. Oh, look at that. Ah, uh, no, it's uh, not. It's the blue. It's the... That's a more line out if he wants to pull. That was, that was more than 100 feet. 100 feet's respect. It was a curve. Right. Yeah, you should have went away. Dude, it's from that boat. It's from that boat. I hope not. There you go. Oh yeah, here, here, here. Here, Let me hold Help me. Why don't you hold the rod? Because you're a big boy and you can handle it. It's so heavy. Yeah, you can Why don't you hold it actually? Come on, hurry up. You're almost there. I see it. I see it. Lane. Yup. Not, not going to look. Nope. I see his part. It's his swim bladder, actually. Ew. Get Big Al hooked up on one of those poles soon. Yeah, you can have my heavy. Down through the bottom to the middle of the highs. Yep. I don't know. Nothing there. Is that in my pole? Is it having a change? Look at him. This one's a little bit better. I actually moved it. That's why. I moved it. You're getting one of them out, I think. I moved it. Well, I'm going to roll it there a little bit. I don't know what nice one looks like. Yeah. Yeah, I like the way I feel the drugs get better. Xander, we got a quick one over here. What? Oh, you got one? Sorry. Here's time. It's aggressive. Got one already? I think that's something good over here. Something good. Well, let's see. Let's say a 18 or 19 inch red snapper. <laughs> Hopefully. Well, I think John has something. Feels a lot. Feels like a red snapper for sure. Oh, big red! Look at that red snapper. That is a <laughs> that is a keeper right there. That's a big keeper. It's a good one for sure. We need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I mean, like 12 more, 11 more of these would be good. There you go. <laughs> the rock and roll. Hang on. Is this going out this? Uh, that probably this that one, that one, that probably 20 inch red We're going to get my lunker. Yep. This one, Johnny. That one has a big fat belly there. No, that one has a belly. It holds your mouth right. Ow. That was quite a fish, Xander. Over that one? That one Dead. has a big belly. Did you get bit at all? No, I got my hip bottom and I 
running up a couple of cranks. Put my thumb on it and I don't feel nothing yet. You gotta leave that weight right on the bottom. Oh, leave it right on the bottom? Yep. The hook's on the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah, and then let it alone. It's a knocker rig, so yeah, so leave it on the bottom and then like right, the hook is on the very bottom of the, of the I thought you I thought you were said that the hook is at the bottom of the weight. Okay, you, so hit bottom, bring it up a little. Who said that, Mac? I'm hiding you. I thought I thought I heard it. No, so put it back on the bottom. And so if I'm using a knocker rig, I'll leave it on the bottom and then almost leave like a little bit of slack in it. Don't put the get ready to put that on, but you can let them like take it. And it, then, you know, once they take it like a foot or so, and then flip that over. Okay. Because it, it gets the weight, the bait away from the weight a little bit. All right. With an I'm catching a red snapper. Not in my we better get down there before you then. I don't think so. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What do you have, Grandpa? Off this fish! No hose allowed. Uh oh. Yeah. You got something? Yeah. Oh, we got a good one. Okay, it's a big grouper. It's a big grouper. That is so grouper. Nice. That is so grouper. Holy smoke. Get over there. I can't hold it. I can't hold it. I can't. Oh my god, that's too heavy. For me, it's too heavy. For me, it's pretty darn heavy. That's really that fight, That's huh? That's a good snapper. What's Big Al got on? Well, snapper. That's a snapper for sure. He definitely gained strength. Yep. You're doing perfect, bro. All right. Step up. I'm on the water side. Oh, yeah. Are you seeing him? Oh, yeah. Big one. Oh, ARS. Okay. Come on. Why do you have a Come on. Big ARS. Nice. Slack is out. Okay, look. I'll do Good job, Gramps. Alright. Good job, Gramps. Good job, Good job, Gramps. Good job, Gramps. Good job, Gramps. Good Good job, Gramps. 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 Good job, Good job, Gramps. Good job, Good job, Good job, Good job, Good job, there you go. Yeah, a little out from you, remember? Always out. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. And what have I got here? That's American Red Snapper. That's American delicious. Red Snapper? Yep. yep. Nice. That's the target that species. Right I think that'd be a help. We have fish. We got Young fish. Phillip. I'm a good then. I got the biggest fish in the box. No, see. I think it's the biggest thing in the box. Give it to me, G. Well, I'm thinking it's fun or not. I hope that now it's not a competition. That's the same You have the longest fish. The longest fish was you. You're welcome. I think I put that line up. So it was team effort. Technically. Okay, team effort. I'll pick. <laughs> you want to take the tails off? I know. You, you um, guys, why do you do that for? So it doesn't spin on the way down? Oh, is that the only reason why? Yeah. And then you don't need the oh, whole thing, so yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we chum with the right with the rest of the stuff. Right, let's see if we get in the box. We need like ten more <laughs> red snapper. They're down there though. Is your thing even marking that there's anything yeah. down there? Yeah, there's a big pot of them down there. This is a new, brand new oh. spot. We've never even been here. You see how that worked though with that knocker? Yes. Letting a little bit out. Much better. Yeah. When you do the knocker? We went all the way to the bottom and then let let it slack. Oh. Let a little line out. Yeah, you don't have enough. It's getting better though. Definitely a wet, <laughs> crappy ride out. <laughs> So what do we got? Two red snapper, a mahi, one a mang, five or six lanes. Do I love you again? Oh, I'm gonna hold on to the rail right now. I guess gonna love you again. That seemed to work. Did he have? Did he put a live down? I put a live pen fish on him. No, that was the. It was dead. That was the tilter that ran out on the pier line. Oh, uh, was it? They definitely moved though. Man. Yeah, yeah, they did. They moved. What do you say, Mac? Drop them down, tangle it up. Drop them down, tangle them up. 
Two of them are diving, but. <laughs> Try not to tangle them up. Dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's a small plane down there. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Real. 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 Uh -huh. Ooh. Just real. And I think that's about. I guess it's a snapper. Big red snapper. Get him. Oh. Just keep reeling. What do you think it is, Johnny? Snapper. Yes. As Johnny would say, it's snapper. <laughs> Yeah, Snapperish. Snapperish. <laughs> Snapperish. <laughs> oh, 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 good boy, daddy. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, it's getting a little bit smaller no, now. No, it's not. It's just getting full of air. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. As their stomach, you know, expands, oh, no. they get a little lighter. Yeah. Come on, daddy, real. Oh. Sweet. Yeah, boy. Feel like a lot smaller. Nah, it's alright. It's a good one. Perfect. That's a nice one. Bigger than dad's. <laughs> Ready? Oh, my God. There it is. Doggy. Hey, Matt, come hold this. I got you. Or take care of that. One or the other. Oh, my God. That on. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 man. Take it out. Good job, Good job, Grumpy. Grumpy? Why do you call him Grumpy? I'm at Grumpy. Oh. My granddaughter couldn't say Grandpa. Oh. So she started saying Gump. 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 So, so now I'm Gumpy. Uh, John? What? We have an issue. What's wrong? What? Oh, it's tagged? Yeah. That doesn't mean you can't keep it. No, but we need to call that in. When we get back. Yeah. Not like a bad issue. I'm no. just saying we have an issue. Oh, a big red. The tag. Tag American Red Snapper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that red snap. Oh. No, it's a red grouper. Red grouper. Real nice, Dad. And I see no summit. Good. I see Actually, no come here, you can see it. No, I don't want to look at the summit. <laughs> Why not? I don't like it. It's a summit. I don't want to look at the summit. It's not a swim bladder. No, it's not. It's a big it's summit. It's a swim bladder. They can inflate it or deflate it, depending on their way. Oh, I'm surrounded by stomachs. <laughs> 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 Email something. MyFWC.com. Or the there's a 1 800 number. Yeah, we'll do it when we get back. And I'll do yeah. it. I just I need her because part. I can't see anything. Get the measurement of it right now because they're going to ask. You probably weigh it too. I'm getting so frustrated. So he is roughly almost 21, 20, 20 and a half, and say. 21? He got a little bend in him, so he's probably 21. They're, they're 20 and three quarters. Mm -hmm. Tag. That's cool. That's real cool. We met this guy. So we're, Matt, where's your fish tag? Alright. That was easy. <laughs> Alright, get another one, Matt. Alright, uh, big these we need to name the spot too, Mac. We need to put a name on this spot. Show us frustration. She's mad. She just wants to break snapper so the bad she can't stand it. Oh! He lost it! Drop it all the way back. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. And that's probably a lane. Aren't you, baby? Maybe. Probably a lane. I'm gonna get one. I haven't seen it. What are you naming it? Put FWC ARS. That way, if they do ask where we got it, too. I can tell you exactly where we got it. What's that noise? 
you, what is that? Can you hold these in their mouths or not? I think that's the trolling motor. Can I hold them in his yeah. mouth or not? It's, it's right there on the top. Yeah, you can hold them wherever. Yeah, I got that. Yep. Computer don't work. <laughs> <laughs> they always do that though. They call all the time. Alright, so what are we up to? Three red snapper? Have you located that right? the computer three or four? Probably. Oh, I'm sorry. She, she didn't get one yet. Three red, four red snapper. Mahi, May. Half a dozen lanes, I think. And Shauna's. Salty. Salty. Alright, what's going on? What's going on? Can I help me? Nope. Pops. Why? Because I'm going to catch a bigger one than him, so. I want to help him. Well, okay, let's have a fishing competition. Biggest fish wins. Well, he's already down. Going down, bud. Going down. I don't, I don't think the trolling motor's working, Mac. Yeah, it's just Look how far we move. And we're still moving. I think it needs to be reset. Oh, I think you need to turn off the... Here! Oh, look at that, John Phillips! He has one. got one. And that's probably a red scab there. Yeah, we need to kill the circuit breaker. I know, but we got two lines of them and one fish on. I can't really do that right now. Well, if it ain't holding, it ain't holding. I don't think of the snippy snapper. Grouper? Yeah, probably. It's not snapper ish. Snapper ish. Snapper ish. Snapper Yeah, especially those bigger ARS, they, they have like a real hard. In the middle? Oh, yeah, it's a. Yeah. Stinky, pinky. 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 Huh? Well guys, the trolling motor crapped out on us, so we had a long, slow, bumpy ride back in. Now it's time to clean some fish. It looks smooth in here because we're inside the bay, but it took us quite a bit to get back. Two to three foot seas with some four foot swells. Tagged rid fish. The tagged red snapper. Alright, so here is the tag. So do we have to pull it out? Yeah. I was just trying to clean some of the crud off. Or of do it. we have to call them before we cut it? I'm gonna have That's to cut it anchored, out. Yeah. yeah. Alright. I don't think we have to, no, we, we can call them after. Oh, okay. Have you ever caught a tag on before? No, first time. So, I mean, basically every fish is pretty much the same. You, I usually always start here. This knife's got like some serration on the side. You can just use a regular side, but with those scales, see you how know, that pushes the scale mm -hmm. in. A bird wants your fish. They always do. They always do, yep. I need to change my glove. And he's like, ooh, fishy wishy, let's go eat it. Give another one more. Yeah, okay. And then we can dump oh. all this in the water and all the fish go after it. You dump what in the water? All the scraps. Yeah, I'm sure I'm assuming there's all kinds of fish there. Now there's usually don't... catfish at the end of the dock, so we'll run them all the way down to the end of the dock. Some people will dump them right in the shallows and then it makes a freaking mess. But we um, will bring them all the way to the end of the dock. Yeah, no, you're on. It's okay. He'll be alright, bud. The bird wants your and then make a shallow outline cut. Try to stay on the on the rib cage. See where you, and you. I usually come back this way. And 
Why do you cut all the way through the tail, Jimmy? Um, I don't know. I just always have. Huh. Oh, why not to cut through yeah, all, all the tail? Oh, the I'll show you in a sec. Okay. I thought you meant why did I cut, push it through to the other side? So you, on this guy's backbone is not that big, but your first initial, you're going to go all the way to the backbone. Mm. And then you kind of angle the knife up and over. So you get, try to get all the fish. And then there's pin bones in here that we have to cut out later. That's when you're doing fine cutting stuff. Okay. No, I'll do it right here. That looks like salmon skin right there. We need to rinse this. So depending on the fish, mm -hmm. sometimes you can kind of like when you go to, I always like leave a little bit of, so you can kind of grab onto it. Mm -hmm. Like, but these, they got some pretty good red on them. So instead of like bearing your knife down this way, you kind of want to go this way. Is it just usually kind of glide along it? No, you got to kind of push it. And then you could, could you, could you hear that when I mm -hmm. went through there? Those were the pin bones we were going through. So you try to leave, you know, some of that red meat mm -hmm. you know, on there. So you don't have to oh, see. see I could, I didn't get real close here. But then you can just shave it off. You can, it's kind of a pain and not oh, ideal, yeah. but yeah. cut that fish quick. Why? Him. Huh? Okay. You, you want some food. So those were the, those were the pin buttons that we cut out from in here. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Don't feed the bird. He fed himself. I'm going to want more. Exactly. He'll be full after that. Well, after that first fish. No, he'll be back. He's not full. So, but you have to cut the tuna differently, yeah? Yeah. You're not even close with the next fish. You have like a couple of, you have like a couple Yeah, the more. tuna is way different than this. Now this side's always a little bit harder because you don't have that that mm. piece of meat there, so you mm -hmm. got to be a little bit more careful. Oh, that goes all the way through. And this guy. You can pull it out this way. Yeah. There we go. My heron wants it. What's it say? GM. There's an 800 number, and then. This is like myfwc.com. And there's the number. Oh, right yeah. There. Date, place, length. That's what it says on it. It says reward. Perfect. Yeah, Max said there usually is a reward form. Alright, so what did we say this was? How much did it weigh? How much did this one weigh? Four pounds? It was like four and a half. Yeah, 20, 21 inches, four pounds. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if they want the weight. I think they just want the length and the location. Yeah, date, and then just size them. So you just try to stay as close to the bone as you can without yeah. having the stomach? Yeah, you don't want to get into the stomach. I like to use a cutting glove because I've cut my hand real bad once. Mm. And it just makes it, it gives you a little bit more grip too. Yeah, the texture. So pin bones are right in here. You can kind of feel them. Mm, feel them. Yeah. So they go back just a little ways. So okay. just come you back just here. Just kind of into it. Yep. Hmm. Try to, you know just take out that center section where you're just getting the pin bones and not too much meat. Yeah. So in all about fishing, there was this guy laying up big snow. Really? Where in Florida was he? Uh, about around over here. Oh, really? He wants more. He wants more to eat. He'll come up over that 
rib cage through the pin bones. And you can leave that on there too. I don't mm -hmm. watch the you, Oh, okay. It gives you the whole that's fist. A, yeah, that's the main The whole fist to grab onto. So if you try to leave them on there, then the, the, it, I mean, probably, you know, eating this in the next day or two wouldn't be fishy, but that red meat would make this, you leave it in the refrigerator for a week, it'll make mm. the whole filet fishy. Yeah. Sometimes you get that little funky part there. Yeah. This guy was a different color than that other one. He's like pink versus that one being kind of reddish orange. Kind of weird, huh? Yeah. So funny. And the back is darker. Yeah. Would you like more food, Bertie? If you want more, get over here. <laughs> you gonna name him, Xander? What? You gonna give him a name? No. Why not? Birdie, well, would you like some snapper? It, it's really good. Would you like some to eat? Huh? Or would you like snapper number three? He's definitely good tonight, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Would you like snapper number three, Bird? That's how his wife is tasting the line if she knows. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> and when you do the, um, you know, the cut the skin off, if you're at the edge too, it makes it a little bit nice, nicer because if you're in here, oh, yeah. you can't, you, your knife's not going to be level. Come to the edge of the table. Don't drop your filet. <laughs> Don't put your fish on the thing. You need a bag for the trash or anything? Oh, you got it. Pail. Well, I'm putting oh, the fillets in there. I really could use another cart. Cart? Yeah. For the. For One the. Cart uh, back here. Yeah, another cart back here. I throw the the scraps in. I wonder if we should take these throats. They're kind of big enough, huh? Yeah. All right. So this part is a little bit gory, but. Um, so you cut around the gill plates right there. Mm -hmm. Usually we'll do both sides first, which is really nice. One, having the cutting glove and two, having this serrated yeah. on the other side. So most of the fish have this, if you try to cut through here, you're not going to be able to get through. So there's like a little, see this little bone right here? Mm -hmm. So you pop that up and then you can get through to the other side. Serrated get through here. And then you got a rip. And then I usually will cut, so cut right in front of that. That was a female. Oh yeah, look at that. So we don't usually ever rinse fish except for these. Okay. It's more like well, it's a little bloody, it's a little, you know, you could have some intestinal juices on there that you, know, you don't want. But it doesn't make the meat weird like it does if you do a filet. Mm. Give the bird the, that food, he wants it. That'll be right. That's our food, buddy. I'm not eating the eyeball if you're trying to do that. That's a good idea. I, I think you want to. I don't. I don't want to eat his eyeball. Why wouldn't you want to eat his eyeball? 
It's like a rite of passage. No, it's not. <laughs> It's a delicacy. So we all set for the eyeball soup. We're gonna be all set yep. for that. Xander said he wanted to try it. No, I didn't. I'm telling you, you don't know what you're missing, kid. I don't want to try the eyeball. But it's in a soup. Never know. Definitely don't want to cut that green thing right there. That makes a mess. Yeah. I don't know how much of YouTube will like to see that stuff. <laughs> you have a spot you dump this or go dump in the water? Yeah, we'll dump it in the water once um, we get them all clean. Got the going on. Eyeballs. <laughs> oh my God. Poor kid. <laughs> Oh, my daughter thought it was the most interesting thing after we fried the one. She's like, look at the eye. It's like a crystal in there. Yeah, know, there is. There's like a hard it's, little... It's like an amber color. In yeah. your eyeball? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you're truly? Yeah, there's like a little hard... It's kind of cool. Probably won't be able to show this on YouTube, but... Cutting the eyeball out. Oh, look at that. Yeah. But that's the soft, squishy one, though, yeah? Yeah, but it, like, crystallizes in the... Yeah, if you leave it out. With frogs, it's like an amber If you fry it, it... It's a gooey piece of boba tea. But there's a hard... Boba. It is kind of firm. There, There's a hard thing in there. Max, Max said... Eyeball, dude. 66 what? Gallons? Probably that. That's it? We ran as much as we thought. Well, we didn't go very far compared to I've what we normally do. In organs? Those are the organs, yeah. Here. You got the eyeball? It's the it's inside a, of the eyeball. It's a crystal. No. No. Come I'm on, not going to eat the eyeball. Xander, no, Xander, you can't eat it. It's hard. Come just come no. look at it. You're not going to eat it. Just come look at it. I'm, I'm going to go flick it away. No, oh, just look at it. Cool. It's a, it's a, it's like a solid crystal. Don't, it. Don't flick it away. I want to show your dad. Yeah. Just, it's it's just a little sticky, but it's an eyeball. No. It's like his lens. That's so they can see. It's, it's cool. actually not. Disgusting. Fascinating. Mother nature at its finest. Um. Yeah, you can probably dump some in there. I don't know if there's gonna be any catfish here today with this water the way it is, but come on all the way to the end. They're gonna come up and get this one. Oh, look at oh. that. Oh, is that him or is that just the skin turning? Just the skin turning. We're too busy down there and all the big Yeah, stuff. there's a bunch of carcasses down there. Well, if you've made it to this part of the video, I really do appreciate it. Make sure if you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and let me know what you might want to see us go after in the future. Again, thank you for tuning in. Until next time.